Hello everyone, this is Jess and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to discuss Science 4 with the topic Effects of Force when applied to an object. And we have our competency explain the effects of force when applied to an object with a code. First, what is a force? Do you have any idea what is a force? Are we applying force in our day-to-day -day activities? Your everyday life involves numerous tasks or many works or activities such as cleaning the house, washing the dishes, or playing. So these activities are common to our children because some of them or um, many of them are doing this. All these activities include several movements that need you to push or pull objects that may react differently. So pushing or pulling is or it takes place especially when you are using objects that are heavy or might be light and it reacts differently. These activities can set objects in motion. So the objects are in motion if there is someone applying a force just like pushing or pulling. Shift its direction, change its shape, or put an object back into a resting position. The movement of push and pull applied is called force. So here's the answer. The movement of push and pull applied is called force. We have examples of force. What are these? These are push and its picture. We have pull and its picture. We have acceleration and its picture. We have throw and its image. We have kick and its image. We have roll and its image. And we have Okay, that's all the examples of force. So those examples that being shown is using force. Force can change the size and shape on, of an object. An object may change its size and shape when force is applied on it. Just like for example, if you are using a hammer and then you are applying a force on it and you will hammer the nail or a can, then the shape or the size of a can change. A paper may change its size and shape when you tear, when you cut, or even crumple it. When you accidentally drop the flower pot made of clay while you are transferring your plants, it may also change its size and shape. So if you accidentally drop the pot, it might be broken and it turns into smaller pieces. There are so many ways that you can do to change the size and shape of a certain object. We have here, pushing. Okay. We have compressing. Okay, and it's image. We have here, bending. And it's picture. 
we have here chopping and its picture. We have here squeezing and its picture. Force can make a stationary object move or make moving objects move faster. So stationary means an object that is stable or steady. So if you are going to apply a force, pretty sure the object will make its movement or it will move. So it depends on the force you applied on an object. If it is strong, then the object will move faster. If it is slow, then the motion of the object will also be slow. A stationary ball on the floor will move by giving it a small push through kicking it. Of course, because you are applying a force upon kicking, whether it is light or very strong in kicking. You can make it move faster by applying a push in the direction to where it is moving. So, you can make it move faster when you are applying a push in the direction to where it is moving. Especially if you applied a force that is very, very strong. Therefore, a force can make a stationary object move and it can also make a moving object move faster because of the force we applied. Force can slow down or completely stop a moving object. Yes, this is also true. Force can slow down or completely stop a moving object by also using a force. Just like, for example, if you kick the ball and then there's someone who make the ball stop by using also its force so that the motion of the object will be in a resting position. A stationary ball on the floor can be made to stop by applying a force. Yes, it is true and correct. In order to stop or slow down a moving body, there is a need to apply a force in a direction opposite to the direction of motion of the moving body. So you are you are in the opposite direction when uh, there's a very strong motion of an object and you wanted to stop it. So there's an opposite direction of the moving object. The player uses force to pass the ball. Yes, this is also happens when you are playing basketball. So you need to pass the ball to your teammates or to your uh, ally. So you are using a force to pass the ball. The girl pushes the door to open it. Yes, you are also applying a force when you wanted to open a door. Now, there is a question. What will, you, what will happen to an object when hammered? What will happen to an object when hammered? As you can see in the picture, the, there is a hammer and there is a nail. And on the second picture, there's a hammer and there is a bottle cup. Bottle cup. Okay. And uh, with the label of Sprite. So what will happen if you are going to apply a force and uh, when you hammered these two, the nail and the bottle cup? So what will happen to an object when hammered? So you can have so you can have your answer here 
or you can write it on your paper or in your notebook or either you can type your answer on the comment section and uh, that would be all and uh, let's try to find out what is your answer okay so again this is Jess and I hope you've learned about our lesson in science about force applied to an object so if you are new in my channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you are updated of the videos that I am going to post and I would like to welcome also the new viewers of mine if you are new in my channel thank you so much and so long